Hi, my name's Zach and I'm the lead developer of So Much Blood. So much blood can be defined as a roguelike chaotic shooter with some elements of exploration in it. Uh, I've really wanted to create a roguelike game for a while now and I've had a few projects in the past that I've dabbled into but none of them really took off until so much blood. I need room so but each room is random so there's like five different outputs of this room five different outputs of, that, of this room and so The idea for So Much Blood was pretty simple. Uh, our other developer in the game, Eli, he had actually come to me about four months ago with this problem he was having in his game. And it wasn't really a game at that point, he was really just trying to get some things down. So he uh, messaged me through Skype and we got into a Skype call and he, I basically created the system for him which was the shooting system for this game he was making. And uh, we made it in about 30 minutes and he loved this shooting system and he said, Zach, you gotta come into this project with me. And he started telling me about the idea of what was going to be so much blood. So I, I thought about it and I decided to go into development full swing with him. And four months later, we are now releasing so much blood onto the PC on Steam. So that shooting system we were creating in that game actually turned out to be the shooting system in So Much Blood. And a lot of people are skeptical of the shooting system based on trailers that I've seen in, in the comments uh, about the two-dimensional shooting. The reality of it is, is that we've created this entire game world around the shooting system. To the world generation, to the boss battles, to how enemies react with your bullets, to how even enemies move around in the world. It's all based on this shooting system. So if you take in our world generation, for example, uh, our world generation is created into squares, two by two grids. And these two by two grids connect with other squares and more and more and more squares until you form a pattern of a world that is kind of randomly generated and that you can kind of move around in. Now, the thing is to get from one square to another square, you either have to move left or you have to move up or down, left or right, up or down. And we've created this world based on if you want to move left, then here are some things that can happen if you go left as far as enemies, their health, etc. Or if you go up, which you're more vulnerable because you cannot shoot up, uh, you're now taking a risk, but that could be a shortcut to get to the next square. Get him. So it's a lot of risk and reward, and it's a lot of strategy actually in the entire movement system of the game, which we were trying to do. These past four months have been pretty crazy. Uh, I've learned a lot of steps through it, and I hope that you guys can learn a lot from it as well just by watching these videos, and hopefully I can um, talk more about the game when it comes out as well.